Now the hauling tools are made of uh, three quarter inch coal roll steel, uh, nice quality stuff with insertable high speed steel cutters. They're easily removable with a set screw here so you can uh, sharpen them and replace them when they get short. Uh, they're, very, they're very inexpensive. Yeah. So that's easy to do. The straight tool is 20 inches long, so it's got uh, plenty of length for any leverage that you'll need, uh, no matter what kind of tool handles you're using. The number one hook tool is, is the main tool, and this along with the straight tool uh, is what I do 80, 85% of my turning with. And the way this works is that the tip is on the center line of the shaft of the tool. So as long as I have the tool rest behind the hook, there's no twist or torque on this tool. When this tip touches the wood, it simply cuts. There's no yanking or twisting, uh, no drama. Works really well, very easy for somebody without experience to use. It's just a little scraper. That uh, tip has a, a burr on the edge, just like a typical scraper. I'll show you one of the cutters. Maybe get a little, little better picture of it. It's ground back on the sides, has a fingernail shape, and the hook tool cutter is rounded on the back. That way, this tool has a small hole, and so this steel here can be as slim as possible. And what that does is allow this tool to reach inside a small opening. Let me show you with an actual piece here. And so that will reach just inside there very nicely and let you go right on down. Now the trouble with some hook tools that uh, you can get is there, uh, this section of the hook tool is made where it's straight. And while it may look like a hook tool overall, if this part is straight, it won't allow you to get into that first little bit just under the lip because it's just a straight tool. So this one has a continuous curve all the way out to the end of that cutter. Another issue you might see with some other hook tools is this, this hook is bent and it's bent way out here. And so it's not on a center line, which uh, defeats the purpose of having a hook tool in the first place. And some others are bent where they have a big giant loop or hook here, which is useless. Uh, all you need is just enough bend in a hook tool to clear the lip. And, and anything that reaches out here makes it very difficult to get in and out of the opening. We have a second hook tool that's used in larger pieces. So have you, if you have something like this, this will allow you to get over in the shoulder area of this piece, over in here. So that's what that's for. And uh, most people, when they're starting out, won't need this tool. Uh, you'll know the day you need it because the number one hook tool won't quite fit for you. Also have a set of half inch tools and they work exactly the same. They have the same kind of cutters, the 3 16 square. We have uh, the equivalent of the number one hook tool. And then uh, last year I started making on request a longer hook or a, a number two version, if you will, that will allow you to get farther over into the sides of pieces. Now it's useful for pieces up to well, maybe this size, five or six inches. So these will easily do these and have enough, uh, and they have enough uh, mass to, to not chatter again up to about six inches or so. After that, uh, if, if you have some skill and you develop the light touch, you can, you can probably do another inch or two. Uh, but we recommend them for five, six inch pieces generalizing. And then finally, I have a three eight set. And I had a lot of requests for these and a few years ago I, I geared up to make them. And these are useful for making 
a little birdhouse. Uh, people like turning little birdhouses and Christmas ornaments that are two, three inches in diameter. I don't have a small vessel here with me, but this, these, uh, but they're, they're bent just like the half inch tools, but they just have a three eighth shaft. So as you get into larger pieces with these, of course, at some point, the three eighth diameter shaft uh, may start to chatter. So again, if you have a really light touch and you keep your cutter sharp, uh, you can you can work a little farther out than, than the average turner, but it takes a little practice. I have people doing some quite large pieces with these small tools, uh, pretty amazing. I, I'm not sure I could do that myself. But, so for people that wanna do small tools, we have those. Also to sharpen these cutters, we have a, we have a little sharpening jig so you can slip the cutters in there. Here's a straight tool cutter. And it holds either one of them. And so we'll get a picture at the grinder of this actually working, but it works like your berry grind jig. If, if this is your grinding wheel, this pivots just, just like a bowl gouge jig. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.